A day off. No, he's uh, my new apprentice. <laughs> yeah, should get Isaac working for me. <laughs> How's Sarah doing? She any better? <sighs> Not quite. Deb said uh, one of Sarah's friends at the hospital took a turn for the worse yesterday. It's, it's a really hard. Transplant can't come soon enough, can it? Mm. See you later. It's all right. Shh. Come on, Oh, hello, gorgeous. When is Daddy Robert going to make an honest man of Daddy Aaron again, eh? Legally this time. Look, busy boys like you, you need a good wedding planner. Yeah. Um, do you know any? Oh, I'll give you a discount, despite your cheek. Tea. Can I tempt you with one of my new smoothies? Kale, avocado, hemp? All right, tea it is. I'll bring it over. And I will heat up your baby food for you, Sebastian. Oof, all right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. It's, uh, it's nothing, so... All right. How's Belle? Yeah, she's all right. How's oh, Seb doing? As good as gold. Are you? Well, Angie, you'd know that if you came round once in a while to see him. Do you want to cuddle with him? Uh, no, I'm all right. I'm, I'm a bit hungover, so... It's rude. You've got a clean nappy on. Yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be better once I've eaten. Finally, Rebecca's texted me. When's she coming home? Oh, what? She's not. She's staying in Wales for good. What about Seb? She's not thinking of taking him down there with her as well, is she? She knows that she won't be able to look after him on her own. She can't cope. No, she, um, she thinks he'll be better off with Robert full-time. She don't even want to see him. What are you on about? Is this a condition, talking? Like, when she says random stuff and then forgets she said it, or...? No. No, she, she means it. Robert's not answering. He's on a hull. He's running hull. Look, you know she's been blaming herself for the accident, and it's getting out of hand now. Are you not worried about her state of her mind? Yeah, of course I am. So you must know where she's staying? Look, I've told you. I don't. I'll ring her now, and I'll talk to her. She's never going to answer her phone. You know, it's like she's trying to cut me out of her life, too. Here we are. Can I get you anything else, or do you want to settle your bill up now? I'm sorry. I, I must have dropped my wallet. Oh, well, I know you're not going anywhere. You'll pay me later. Sorry, um, I've, I've got to go find it. <laughs> well, hang on. Your auntie's vulnerable on her own. She could be ill, she could be living on the streets like our Belle was. She'll be torturing herself on a loop about that accident. What can we do about it? <laughs> we'll ring her again and leave her another message and tell her that you're worried about her and you want to talk it through. Yeah, and what if she didn't want to? Well, then maybe you'll have to go down there and try and find her. She'll calm down, right, and see sense. <laughs>